Hey, I'm Chris Dennison from Dirt Rider. That's Adam Booth. You are? Chris Kiefer. Chris Kiefer. Well said. Mm -hmm. Looks like Jeremy McGrath. And uh, today we're going to tell you about the Beta 300 two-stroke. It was part of our 2013 off-road shootout. So the shootout came out in the August issue, and uh, here's a little bit more info on it. We, uh, we broke down the KTM and the Hoosberg, which were first and second place, and the Beta is a third place bike. So, Boothie, let's start by talking about Bike of the Year, because the Beta was our Bike of the Year. And uh, I think some folks had a little bit of a question as far as how can a Bike of the Year actually finish third in a shootout. But really, if you could explain just the breakdown of how a uh, bike can be Bike of the Year, but not win a shootout. Bike of the Year doesn't necessarily mean it's the Bike of the Year, the most amazing bike ever. It kind of rewards companies' innovation or you know different ways of thinking or coming out with a product that just is cool. And Beta really showed they put their research into the two-stroke and they came out swinging with a, a great bike. First year, super impressive. I mean, we rode the thing, we loved it. Um, we got all the bikes together, you know, and then we shoot them out. So some of the shortcomings come, um, you know, come out with the Beta, which doesn't have many of. It's a motor is on par with the KTM, the Hoosberg. The thing is awesome. Starters tucked up underneath. Just everything's well thought out on that bike. The suspension, while it's good, it, it has a not quite as good maybe on bottom resistance as compared to the KTM. Um, it just doesn't work quite as well all around as the KTM, but it is an amazing motorcycle. Yeah, it's a very solid overall package. That's something I felt too, and if you just look at it on paper, there's a few things we didn't like, which I know Beta's already working on refining for 2014. You know, the 2013 300 only has a two gallon tank. That's kind of a problem off-road. But uh, there's a lot of stuff that was really good. I think it was the best electric start in the class just because the thing fired up immediately every time, first first kick or first push of the button. And uh, also least amount of vibration. And when you're riding the 300 two strokes, you know, the KTM can vibrate a good bit. All of them have uh, some manner of like buzz at higher RPMs, but the Beta kind of felt like almost a smaller bore two stroke, which was cool. So Kiefer, you spent a lot of time on the Beta during testing. Just kind of take us through what it's like sitting on the machine and, and what a reader would feel if they were to ride the bike. I was actually really surprised, um, shocked more, more or less. Um, as a test rider, you go in and you want to be really neutral. You don't want to get anything, get too high, or get too low before riding it. So when I got on it, I sat right on it and felt really good right away, which was a big shock to me. I was thinking it's going to feel very foreign. Um, the seat may be a little bit too narrow where I sat, but I mean, as far as handlebar bend, controls, overall feel of the bike, like you said, vibrate, lack of vibration was huge. Um, only really bad thing that I didn't really care for was um, mid-stroke harshness and to me the overall unbalanced feeling of the suspension. Um, maybe a little bit too stiff in the rear and a little bit too soft but with mid-stroke harshness maybe I was riding too low in the stroke. So uh, the bike as actually said is an amazing bike especially for the first year as their first effort. Um, motor is great. It's hard to uh, explain how good two strokes, off road two strokes, are coming with um, traction. You know, you think of a two stroke, you think uh, I'm not gonna have enough traction. But um, Beta Man, they can, you can lug this bike. I think more so than any other bike, and uh, you can chug up hills in third gear, no problem. I love the bike. It's great. Yeah, and that's a good point on the unbalanced uh, nature of the Beta too. Is you know, Boothy, we took these things to a lot of different riding areas. We tried them in the desert, we tried them in the tight stuff, and uh, you know all the bikes really well. What's your take on, on the Beta and what held it back keeping it in third place? Because I know personally, it seemed like we were always kind of fiddling with the suspension, just never really honed in on that perfect setting, whereas we would kind of unload the KTM, tweak a few things, maybe a little stiffer, a little softer, depending on where we were, and it was really set up. So what do you think as, as far as the Beta goes? Hey, it just all comes down to suspension. A little more refinement over the next year, and, and hopefully the changes for 2014 will address some of that. But it's just not quite on par as the KTM and the, and the Hoosberg as far as suspension and comfort and being able to resist bottoming in certain situations. It's not bad, it's just they, they have a pretty high mark to go up against with KTM and Hoosberg who've been doing it for, you know, on a two-stroke 300 for a few years now and have the settings really, really dialed. It's something I think if you took it to an aftermarket guy or worked with somebody who knows suspension real well, you can get the thing completely dialed for your style and be really, really happy with it. But it's not, it just doesn't cover that broad range of rider as well as the KTM and the Hoosberg. So there's guys out there who are gonna get on the beta and it might work excellent for them, whereas the KTM and the Hoosberg, that kind of setting might not be as what their style. Suspension is such a personal thing that there's guys who like their front end soft and the back end stiff and, and, and the way a bike is, Balance. So there's some guys who get on a bike and say this is a balance, and the next guy will be like, it feels great. I don't know what you're talking about. 
So for, suspension's a tough thing, and, and it's hard to get it so everybody gets on it and is happy. That's a key thing, what he said there too, was broad, you know? And that was what the other bikes ahead of it had. They had a broader range of riders. This was a little bit more narrow, you know? And uh, with, the, with the sack stuff, you know, it's kind of hard to dial in. The adjustments that were made didn't make a drastic difference. So the other bikes, you make some changes, you could feel it. This was harder to feel the difference, so. Mm -hmm. And after riding the beta, especially against all the other bikes, I have really high expectations just because it was a first year bike of the year. Really awesome first year two stroke effort from the company and uh, I, you know, hopefully it's all just going in a good direction from there. They'll continue to build and build on what they've learned and uh, in a couple of years we could have a shootout winner out, out of the beta. So that's, uh, that's the breakdown on the beta 300RR. You can check out the full test in the August 2013 issue of Dirt Rider Magazine. And uh, also stay tuned to DirtRider.com because we're doing video breakdowns of all five bikes in the shootout. Thanks for watching.